you're one of the thousands of people who have read our book so far, thank you so much. And if you haven't gotten around to it yet, don't worry, I'm not offended. But really, there are so many amazing aha moments inside. And I'm not just saying that because I'm one of the authors. Okay, well, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but here's five of my top takeaways I think every reader should learn from winning the week. By the way, if you haven't picked up your copy yet, you can buy it on Amazon or any of the online bookstores. Just search winning the week book and I'll also drop a link to it in the description. The book is based on Demir's and my experience coaching thousands upon thousands of professionals and entrepreneurs over the last eight years or so. We coach them in dozens of tactics and techniques, but there's one that stands apart because it's so easy to do and it gets exceptional results. It's the very first step in our complete life hack method, and we call it the winning the week method. It's a process for planning your week in advance designed to get you a major win every week, even if you feel like you've actually lost most of your days. My first takeaway is a little bit counterintuitive. A lot of people who don't currently plan will say they can't follow a plan even if they make one. So what's the point of planning? Here's the thing. It's not about the plan. It's about the act of planning. As Eisenhower famously said, plans are worthless, but planning is indispensable. And that's because planning means thinking ahead, gaming out several possible scenarios for how your week is likely to go based on your understanding of yourself, your energy, your time commitments, and past weeks. Now, most people create an overly idealistic plan that has no basis in reality, so of course they're gonna have trouble following it. When you make a plan to work out every day when you haven't worked out consistently in years, or maybe you plan to work like a robot every hour this week with no breaks, you're making an unrealistic plan. So yeah, if you're gonna make an overly idealistic plan, then I'd say there's not much point in planning at all. But there's tremendous benefit to taking an honest look at the week ahead and figuring out a game plan for making it a huge win given the constraints that you're operating inside. That brings me to my second takeaway, which is to include the steps that most people leave out in order to make a realistic plan for your week. So that includes looking not just at the upcoming seven days, but at the upcoming 14 days to see what might be hiding out, what might, what landmines or hazards might be there. Maybe there's a big meeting with your C-suite executives or a parent-teacher conference that's gonna conflict with a dinner plan one day. So it also means planning in buffer time. This is what we call UUW time, unplanned, unwanted work. Because there's always some stuff that comes up, right? Maybe someone on your team quits, or you get asked to submit a last minute pitch deck, or one of your kids gets sick. You don't know what it is, but you do know that something is gonna happen. So let's prepare for those unknowns and not overstuff your week with the knowns. My third takeaway from our book is to give up on writing down a laundry list of all your priorities and instead spend five minutes finding a leveraged priority. A leveraged priority is one that benefits your whole life, not just this week, but every single week that follows too. So for example, instead of just making dinner, you might come up with a meal plan and a meal prep system that makes it a little bit easier to make dinner every future night. Over the course of the next year, that could literally save you hundreds of hours. And that's called operating with leverage, when you spend a little more time doing something now in order to save massive amounts of time down the line. Easy to say, harder to do, at least at first. And in our membership program, Lifehack Tribe, we coach all our members on how to figure out their leverage priorities for their weeks, months, quarters, and years. That sounds like the kind of community you wanna be a part of. You can join at lifehackmethod.com forward slash tribe or via the link in the description. It's the single fastest way to reach your long-term goals in less time. So you get better and better and better the more you practice leverage, but it can really help to dialogue with someone else because when you're so close to your projects, it can be hard to see the leverage even if it's staring you in the face. My fourth takeaway from our book is to really beat up your calendar rather than just taking it at face value. You might look at your calendar and think, well, I have 20 hours of meetings this week. <sighs> Sigh, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. This is your opportunity to make adjustments. See if you can consolidate all your one-on-ones into the same afternoon so that you can free up more big blocks of time for deep work. See if your partner can take the kids to the birthday party so that you have some me time on the weekend. See if you can move that unimportant meeting to another week entirely if you're really slammed this week. 
There's just so, so much you can do to optimize your calendar. So don't miss on this chance to interrogate each and every event. And my fifth takeaway is to build accountability into your week so that you actually do what you say you're gonna do. Now you know yourself better than anyone else. And if you have trouble meeting deadlines or following a plan, that simply means you need accountability. It's way easier to use accountability to motivate yourself than it is to just brute force will yourself to do stuff that you don't wanna do. So get a gym buddy if you wanna start working out. Get someone to review your blog post before they go live if you wanna start writing more. Pre-sell an offer in order to motivate yourself to actually build it out. You can really get creative with accountability. And in Lifehack Tribe, we offer so many different types of accountability to our members. There's accountability by the hour that our members get via Focusbait, a software we provide our members that pairs them up with a buddy to do a work session. Our members can also get longer term accountability via a buddy. We even have live weekly pre-planning sessions where we all plan our week using the winning the week method together. And if that sounds fun to you, remember you can join Lifehack Tribe at lifehackmethod.com forward slash tribe. So those are some of my favorite takeaways from our book, Winning the Week. Make sure to grab a copy if you don't have it yet. And I would love to hear what you think about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.